How's it going, everybody? It's Michael from theloftestparty.com. I hope you're doing great. Well, it finally happened. Mm-hmm. Joe Biden finally gave a press conference. After 64 days of waiting, he decided to bring it. He was like, come on, man. Bring those questions, you dog-faced pony soldier. Ask me anything. Now, the media is spinning this thing like crazy today. They're all like, I just thought it was awesome to have someone up there who was comforting and it was calm and it was just kind of relaxing and reassuring. Meanwhile, I'm over here just shocked at how bad it was. And here's why. Joe was using a seating chart. Look what he's holding in his hand. Everybody's little pictures in there, the name of the reporter, little numbers by him. What, is the, what are those numbers? Is that the question, the order you wanted to go in? I'm going to start over here. You can ask me how, how I stay so awesome. Then I'm going to come over to you, and you can, you can ask me how I'm uniting the country. And then uh, I'm going to go to you third there, and you can just ask me uh, how I'm so great for the country by being so awesome and uniting. What in the heck is that? Look how many reporters are in that room. There's like a handful. You mean to tell me Joe just couldn't go, you, 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 and then you're done? No, he had to have a seating chart. And then you saw him using notes too. Joe Biden's hanging on to notes. He's been a professional politician for almost 50 years now. And suddenly he needs a cheat sheet to remember stuff like, we need to spend more money on infrastructure. Our bridges are old. You need a cheat sheet for that? Come on, man. Seriously, he's been in politics a long time. This is like watching somebody who's played chess their whole life suddenly need somebody to explain the pieces to him. He's up there like, wait a minute, I should write this down. The, the, the little horse guy, he can go up and over? Okay, and then, okay, and then what's the castle? The castle will go straight, and then that, I got, yeah, give me, I should write this down. Because the and and then and wait, wait, who the, the bishop? What's he diagonal? Oh, give me a pen. This is not a good look for the commander in chief. He has not just lost a step, you guys. My boy has lost the entire ladder. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm not ready for him to tap out and have Queen Kamala Mala take over. No, I have seen her track record. We don't want. Kamala in the big seat, although her press conferences would be very simple because her answer to everything would be, we need to have a conversation about that. It doesn't matter the question. What do you think about uh, North Korea and the missiles? Well, we need to have a conversation about that. What about the deficit? We should have a conversation about that. What about the riots? I don't need conversation, conversation. We're going to talk about everything. So I'm not ready for her to step up. So let's hang on to Joe for a while. Yes? He's not as sharp, but they have medicine for that. Seriously, get him some, uh, some Prevagen, double up. They could sponsor the whole White House from here on out, as far as I'm concerned. They'd be like, welcome to the Joe Biden press conference, sponsored by Prevagen. It keeps me sharp. Now here's the most shocking part. In this presser, Joe Biden says he plans to run again in 2024. And, and I'm just sitting here just like, oh, do ya? That's, um, that's optimistic. That's optimistic. Do you, do you really think you're going to be able to be a, a candidate? Do you think you're going to be like around? You know, you might be somewhere else. If, if, if he runs... In 2024, his campaign is going to look like a seance. They'll just, they'll just bring out the Long Island medium and she'll be, she'll be out there with a notepad. I, I, he's here. I think he's close by. And what he, what, he's got a message for America. He says, he says um, unity, unity, and, and we need infrastructure. He says we need unity and infrastructure. And he's upset He's upset that St. Peter does not believe in open borders. He's saying there is a wall. There is a wall and he, he can't get in. He wants open borders. 
I don't know if Joe's going to be around for 2024, but let's double up on the Prevagen until then, okay? Subscribe.